hi guys so today i'm going to be doing a bit of a girl tour the questions are kind of just on tiktok and instagram so i'm just gonna be reading them like off my ipad um so yeah what do you define girl code i mean i think so i think it's all right to a certain extent like so girl code to me i don't think there's any girl code between people who are just normal friends like if you've got a friend and you get with your friend's ex and you're not actually that close anyway i don't think it's that much of a big deal um if it's best friends it is to me that's just a big deal to me i'm like mm, disgusting um however no matter how close you are if you were talking to a boy and she knows that and she goes and talks to him i think that's really out of order and that's just breaking girl code in general um first period story time you know i don't even actually really remember it very well because i um started like spotting at seven and eight and then i got my proper period like turning nine i think like i was eight but like i was very close to nine and i got my first like, proper period and then after that it was just like literally monthly but before that i don't really remember i don't actually really remember how it happened because obviously i remember when i first ever bled but then that wasn't my first period like i just bled randomly like i was spotting so i'm not really sure what do you think about girls that don't have girl code do you know what it doesn't matter as long as when it comes to your best friend you wouldn't do something like that because if you would you have one no respect for yourself because it makes you look like the skankiest person possible two you have no respect for anyone else and it literally makes you look like a beg like if you could do that to your best friend then jesus you'd do anything for one boy like that that's the way i view it is it makes you look like a beg um also pick me girls um they're fucking annoying i mean there's not really much like i can give they've got the fucking name because no one likes them anyway so how did your mum let your boyfriend move in um i mean it was quite easy like when he finished school anyway so it only happened a lot quicker because of coronavirus he was going to be moving in after he finished school and my mum already knew that because he was going to move back down here because obviously we had a long distance relationship my mum was fine with that she didn't care like i would have been 15 at the time he would have been turning 17 yeah he would have been turning 17 like he would have just finished school and then he'd be going to college down here and he'd been here part-time had his dad part-time so he's not permanently moved in but look put it this way all of this stuff is here and on weekends he goes to spend time with his dad um and it just kind of happened a little bit like sooner because obviously coronavirus happened and he got sent home because he coughed at school so he was off school before every school was closed anyway and his mum was like look we'll drop you down here like so we'll drop you with Amelia so you've got something to do while you're off um and then like you can stay and then i just stayed like he just stayed like up until now now so um are your period pains really bad yeah they are i mean i don't get my period anymore because i'm on the pill like so my period does not come like i don't get one um but that is like one of the main reasons i went on my pill like i would pass out throw up everything like my period was so bad like i'd have periods for nine days and they would be pain throughout the whole thing and when i finished and before i started like it so like i'd have a week of pain before i started and i knew it was coming because my legs would always be like my thighs would always be really fucking painful i that's the worst place i get period pains is my thighs like really bad um and i get the period pain. i don't know if anyone anyone else actually gets this but you know when like you're feels heavy like it actually feels like it's hanging down and like dragging your whole body down and obviously you know they start fucking hanging outside of you like jesus christ no but it just feels heavy I, I don't know if it's just me but yeah um do you think it's okay for a girl not to tell another girl her boyfriend's been texting her no that's not okay you should tell her but don't tell her like in a don't tell her for someone else don't go up to her like for your mate and be like oh by the way your boyfriend's been no just message her privately and be like look i wanted to let you know that my your boyfriend's been messaging me and don't tell her if you've been messaging him back because if you've been messaging him back then you have no right to even tell her because you're just as bad so what do you think about mates who are always coming to you or trying to one up you on everything you do um they're fucking annoying i can tell you that one now uh well there's nothing really much to say it's annoying for everyone hygiene routine what do you mean hygiene routine 
like what type of hygiene we on about like just general body hygiene i can't really like i mean i was what do we to say um how to be more confident in yourself and become less shy do you know what the best thing is is just don't care like just don't care like honestly you just what you gotta think about is what's going through your head when you're like shy and being shy and you're like oh fuck sake, they might be looking at me things like that. that's probably going through everyone else's head in that room as well so you gotta think a lot of people are thinking the same things as me so don't worry about it just be calm um also tongue placements help um did your tongue hurt really bad i mean this isn't really much girl talk but no it didn't hurt at all um how to get over someone who you really like but they hurt you um how's it go do you know this sounds really bad but get a rebound <laughs> get a rebound just, just do it like and then when you get with this rebound they will probably be 10 times worse than what that boy is just because you will not have any thought about even getting with that person because you won't have any intentions of staying with them they will probably be 10 times worse and then by the time you're out of that rebound relationship you will be ready for a next relationship that is going to be serious and proper and you will be over that other person because that other person the rebound would have just been like no no we can't go for boys like that no so then you'll be over the first one because he hurt you and you will realize that then you'll be able to get with a good boy smart thinking um do you miss your ex? No, most definitely not. Um, did your first time? I'm a virgin. However, it's not meant to hurt. So, like, I know that for a fact it is not meant to hurt. And if you tell me you hurt, that means, bitch, you was not turned on. I don't care whether you say, yeah, I was. No, you wasn't. If it hurt, you wasn't turned on, okay? You just, you just weren't. You weren't turned on, so how to deal with fake friends and feeling left out leave them out go get new friends and then like leave them out see how they feel they won't like it um we got we got more questions bear with me what is your opinion on sending nudes personally i would never do it mainly because i'm too insecure um i i just wouldn't um I mean, I've ne I don't class your bum as a nude. I just don't. Because you see, like... Right, put it this way. Imagine you're a proper, like... You're a really confident girl. If you would post it on Instagram, if you was extremely confident and your family didn't follow you and things like that, obviously. Because a lot of people don't post sexualized things because their family follows them and they get in trouble or just because they're not confident. But if you would post it on Instagram, then it's not a nude, okay? Even if someone says well it was your bum like that's a nude you could be like well i was gonna post it on instagram like i have some pictures of it in body suits and someone tried telling me once they were like i've seen your nudes and i was like darling that's not my nudes hun i posted that on instagram like that's not nudes that's just me being sexy um but a lot of people will class that as nudes so even though my, i'm not nude but you know i wouldn't do it just because it's a big risk and if you are not in a relationship if you're in a relationship then go for it like just just go for it long term though but if you're not i just don't recommend it it's just so it's messed up so many people's lives um how do you have no confidence i have no confidence is being 17 and a virgin bad no it's good like honestly wait for the right person otherwise it's just stressful um how to shave without getting raised? Shave with coconut oil. Melt the coconut oil first. Sometimes you don't have to. You just put your fingers in. But it feels better if you melt it. Because getting coconut oil underneath your fingers. Don't touch your phone as well. Because I got it in my speakers. And I had to put my phone in fucking... Um, pretty much in water. Then put a kitchen roll underneath it. And then like dry it. Because obviously because it's oil. It's not getting drawn out by the um, rice. It had to be like dripped out. So it's fucking annoying. Just don't do it. Um, but yeah, shave with coconut oil and you probably will not get them. That's what stopped me from getting them. I've had my period over a year now, but I've only ever had it four times. Is that okay? This happens to a lot of people who are smaller. So if you're like quite skinny and quite small, or you could be really tall as well. If you're really quite skinny, um, a lot of people who are skinny don't get their periods till later on in life. And then when they do, they're not always regular. 
Um, same with if people have trigger warning, eating disorders, it can get rid of their periods. Not a good thing. Trust me, it is not a good thing. Don't, don't do it. Um, but if you're really small, it might mean that you're not doing it. But I mean, I'd go like, maybe ask your doctor just because it's not a big deal, but it might mean that you will have like problems in getting pregnant like in the future unless it sorts itself out within like a couple of years because if you've only just well yeah you only had it for a year so might sort itself out if not like obviously i'd just ask them just in case uh i've got really light eyebrows and it hopes of making them darker fucking tint them um do you prefer having a boyfriend and a few close real mates and loads of mates to be honest, yes, I that's all I've ever done. My first boyfriend, I had one, I had my boyfriend and I had two friends. Second one, I had that and one friend. This one, I have my boyfriend. We've been going down the chart. <laughs> and yeah, it is a lot nicer than having loads of friends, trust me. How do you do with cramps? Right, this sounds so weird. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You know when you get in your hands and knees and stick your bum up in the air and like rock back and forth. That is the best thing for cramps. No, I'm not even joking. It is the best thing. And then this sounds really weird. This sounds so weird. I don't know if I should say it or not. Right, you know when a dog mounts your leg, yeah? <laughs> Do it to a pillow. Or not like put your put the pillow between your legs, not actually touching your minge. That made me sound like a right creep. Not touching your minge, but move your hips like that. Move your hips as if you was, okay? But put the pillow in between your legs, otherwise you end up rubbing knees and it really hurts. Um, that is the best thing. And I'm not even joking, because you'll keep moving. Keep moving your legs. And like, as if you was on like um, a bike or something, kind of like that with your legs up like, in the air. And it feels so much better, because you're just permanently moving so you're not thinking about it. Um, what age do you think it's okay to lose your virginity? Any age. Any age. 11, 16, 25 any age it's not my business to tell you what age you think i think it's okay i do it is not my business if you want to lose your virginity at 11 if you want to lose it at 13 if you want to lose it at 15 16 17 it does not matter what age you lose it it does not make you less of a like a a woman it does not make you more of a woman it does not make you more of anything you are you and it, you losing your virginity doesn't make any difference to what you are, who you are, or anything. It does not make you a slag. It does not make you frigid. No matter when. So, do you prefer using pads or tampons? Pads. I hate tampons. I hate them. I, ju I just do. I have a big fear of them. Toxic shock. Losing the string and not being able to get it out. It falling out. No. No. I just can't do it. I can't be doing it. Plus, like, when I first ever put one in, it's because I needed to get in a hot tub. And then, like, when I put it in, I was like, what if it falls out? And Mum's like, it's not going to fucking fall out if you put it in properly. I was like, what if I didn't put it in properly? Um, but yeah, pads are, like, ten times better. Um, what to do to break up your ex and his new girl? I mean, I wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. It makes you look really bad. How to get over a boy? I don't really answer that one. If are you on birth control? If so, what one? And did it change anything about you? I'm on Cerazet. It is one for mainly over thirty year olds. However, I get really bad migraines, and if I was to be on a combined pill, I could have a stroke. So yeah, we're not on that one. Um, the things that changed about me is I have gained a lot of weight. It's not a massive difference because I've only actually gained it in my boobs and bum. It has not changed my belly or anything like that. I have now got stretch marks all over my legs, bum and boobs. And I've got thread veins on my legs, which are sometimes painful um, because if I punch them, like accidentally, because I talk with my hands. So if I swing and tap them accidentally, I will bruise a lot easier there now. Thread veins, you'll have to Google it. Happens often in pregnancies and with pills and also if it's in your family, which it is in my family as well. So the pill kind of just enhanced them to come in quicker. So brilliant. I've got one like here you can kind of see it as well but then ones are a lot worse on my legs um it has made my boobs a lot bigger as well they've gone up about they've only gone up like a size but i was a 32a and i've now gone up to a 32b um but i think i'm actually meant to be a c because my b's are actually quite tight at the minute so i'm gonna go get properly measured but yeah
Um, if you're on birth control, do you have to use condoms? I mean, you can. If you miss a pill, you have to. Um, obviously, it, it's probably like a nice idea too. Uh, and if it's a new person and they've had sex before, definitely use a condom because otherwise you might get STDs. Um, but you don't have to. Like, the whole point about most most birth controls is to stop you from getting pregnant. Not all of them work all the time. Um, what's the best thing to do? I've already answered that one. What would you say the best age is to have a kid? There isn't a best age. There isn't a best age. Personally, obviously, I think around, like, 14 plus, you shouldn't really... I don't think you should have it before then, just because you definitely don't have enough money then. I mean, nothing against anyone that does, like, um, have kids then. But 14, 15, 16 is kind of when you start earning money, so you... I don't think there's a correct age. I think there's a correct time. And if it is right in your life and you know for a fact that you could look after a child financially and mentally and physically, um, then go for it. If you know for a fact you have not got the money, you don't think you've got enough time, then don't do it. it it's pretty simple. There isn't a right age to have it. Um, does the pill make your boobs grow? Yes, it did. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. But it also made me gain weight. So, like, if you don't want to gain weight, then don't do it. Um, what, what to do if you're scared for your first kiss? Don't be scared. Like, there's nothing to be scared of. More time, the boy is going to be ten times worse than what you even are. So, even if it's your first time kissing, boys are always a lot worse at kissing than what girls are. And I know for a fact, kiss both... No, it's just me and my best friend. We're just a bit weird when we drink. But yeah, boys are always sometimes worse at kissing. So don't even worry. Don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, don't worry. It's all good. Kissing's fine. You'll be kind. You'll be like calm. It's fine. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And yeah.